Hello again and welcome to our discussion on Photoshop tools. We'll use this photograph here of the Oregon coast for parts of this discussion. The tools reside over here on this left hand um, area and as we saw before we can change the way these tools are laid out here by clicking on this little set of double arrows up on top. We can have them all bunched up like this or as I prefer we can click on it again and stretch them out in a line. Before we dive into the individual tools, I want you to notice that right here, next to most of these tools, is a little kind of downward and right pointing arrow. That means that if you right click on that tool, there are more options underneath the tool. Okay, so any of these that have this arrow, there are more options to the right. A few of them, like the zoom tool, there is no additional options, so there are there's nothing there and then get the move tool up on top. There is nothing if you right click on it. All right, so we're going to start with the move tool. Before we have something to move, we need to we need to uh, duplicate our layer. If we try to use the move tool, let's just show you what happens. If we try to use the move tool, we could not complete the request because the uh, layer is locked. We'll notice over here in the background there's a lock, which means you're not going to be able to do everything you might want to do on this particular, we'll call it a layer, it's the background. So we'll go OK. We will duplicate the background layer, make a copy of it, and we can do that simply enough by right clicking on it and choosing to duplicate layer, or by drag, dragging it, cop, uh, clicking on it and dragging it down to this little new layer icon. So now we have a background copy there is not a lock on it so we can do things to it. So we have the move tool selected we can come down here, click on it, hold down and drag this and again we're just dra dragging the background copy around wherever we want. So this is the background copy and this image back here is the background that is locked into place. So that's what the move tool is all about. Okay, notice when we select the Move tool, we get some additional options with this tool up here. Again, as landscape photographers, we're probably not going to use this particular tool that much. If you decide to type text in there and you're in an image, like maybe some copyright information before it goes up to the internet, then you're going to be using the Move tool to move that, to position that text where you would like. That is the Move tool. Okay, let's talk about the next tool down. Again, as landscape photographers, this is the marquee tool. Uh, as landscape photographers, we're not going to use this tool too much, but we'll just talk about it real quick. Uh, you select whichever one you want, the rectangular one, the elliptical one, or these single row marquee tools. For fun, let's just go with the rectangular one. You click and drag, and you form a rectangle wherever you'd like to form it, and you let go. Now this area has basically been selected. You can from there edit, cut or copy it. So let's just say cut. And now it's ready for pasting, perhaps in another image or somewhere else on this image. We'll control and then press Z to return that. If we want to get rid of the marquee, right click inside of it and deselect. If we choose the elliptical marquee, it would just draw an elliptical shape. We could position it however we'd like. And then we could edit, cut or copy again. We'll control Z that to undo that. Another thing we can do after we've made this selection with the marquee tool is we can come up to the move tool, click on it, then click inside the area, not out here, but inside. Click, hold, and then drag the, uh, the selection anywhere we want to and let go of it. So let's hold the control button down and press Z to return that. Let's hold the Alt key down. So it's Control, it's control Alt being held down, then press the Z to back up. One more step. All right, so let's uh, reposition this where we can actually see the lighthouse now and move forward. Um, we can come down here to the lasso tool. Let's right click on it because we have drop out options. The lasso tool is just another way to make a selection. Here you click 
just free and hold down and draw whatever it is you'd like to draw and then let go and it'll uh, put it all together and again we can edit cut or copy we can use the move tool choose inside we'll control Z to back that up notice we try to grab out here we're not moving the item we want to move we want to move the just the lighthouse so we have to click inside the marquee area or the selected area we'll control Z to back that up and we'll control alt Z to back it up one more undoing the last two steps let's take a look at this uh, these other lasso tools again as landscape photographers we're not going to find too much use in these top three but here's what's going on with them and again you can always experiment on your own so here you you can just click and let go drag a line click to place a point click to place a point and I'm just clicking and letting go click to place a point 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 and when I get close to being done double click and it'll finish it off and now you've made a and whatever kind of selection you want to make with straight lines again where you can edit and cut oh we don't see anything because we have the uh, image the backgrounds right over top of the background or pardon me the background copy is right on top of the background so despite the fact that we cut that we don't see the difference so let's move something and see yeah, there we go. Now you can see that difference. Okay. Control Alt. And we'll just Z back up. Undo undoes the last thing. Let's undo again. And let's undo one more time. Okay. So in summation, that we've started down the path of looking at these tools. We've looked at the first three, which I don't use much at all and, and, and you typically won't use these all that much in landscape photography maybe from time to time but now you know what's going on with them and how to use them all right we'll see you next time